Greetings Commanders, this is Cree Cree here and I am an Elite Dangerous content creator. Now in today's video we're going to be doing another episode for Inara. So this one we'll be looking into engineers and blueprints. I have to say that Inara is the best in terms of looking at engineers and blueprints in comparison to any other website there is out there. Now, as you can see here in engineers it shows you all of the engineers that are available for ship modules it also shows you which one you need to unlock in order to gain access to other engineers as well it also shows you the name of the engineer the place that they are at as well as the system obviously and the things that they can engineer including the grade that they can go up to Grade 5 being the highest grade that is available. And if you're interested in Odyssey engineering, then this is where personal equipment is. So you can see the engineers for these particular ones. So it does work slightly different, but I'll get into how the personal equipment engineers differ from the ship modules. Back at the ship modules, what I'll use as an example is Felicity Farcia. She's by far the easiest engineer to unlock. Probably the thing that she can engineer for is probably the one thing that a lot of beginner commanders want to get into, which is expanding their jump range. So having her be able to do grade five frame shift drive engineering is super handy. So we'll have a look at her. So as you can see here on this page, you can see the image of her the location, distance from your current location, and what level of grade access that you have. It also tells you how you're able to discover this engineer, what the meeting requirements are, unlocking requirements, and how you're able to gain reputation with this particular engineer. Another thing that I find handy on this particular part of the page because of the unlocking requirements needing one unit of meta alloys, you can actually click on the meta alloys and it comes up with the commodity. So it shows you the closest place that you can go to to actually buy it. That way it's a bit easier on you and you can also use these filters here as to whether or not you uh, use Odyssey if you would like to be on a space station as opposed to landing on planet side if you need a small pad on and whether or not you would like to use the fleet carriers as well now as you can see here that on the blueprints and upgrades side of things you can see exactly what she is able to do and using these nuts here you can see what grade they go up to so detail surface scanner is grade three frame shift drive grade 5 etc now before we get into the actual particular blueprint that you might be interested in there is a button down here that is find nearest material trader so this is super handy when you need to get more materials that you are struggling to find or maybe they're a rare type and you just have a lot of and you have a lot of a particular type but you need to trade with a material trader to try and get what is required for the engineering now before we get into how that works what we'll do is that we'll have a look at the increased range grade 5 frame shift drive engineering with felicity farcia so now as you can see here it shows you exactly what the modifier does to your ship at grade one, two, three, four, and five. It tells you the crafting cost. And if you connect your Frontier account to your Inara account, then you'll be able to see how many of what particular material that you have. So that way you can know exactly how many times it can be crafted. It also comes up with a list here of which engineers require atypical distributed wake echoes. Super handy. Now one thing that I will mention as well is that as a quick tip, when you are engineering your FSD or anything like that, 
when it says that you need only one to get grade one that's not actually true but typically you need to do them a few times in order to get it to the max range of your engineering and which I will explain a bit further when I go into adding the blueprint to your crafting list. Now when you scroll down here a bit you'll be able to see possible experimental effects. So typically for someone that wants to increase their jump range the experimental effect that they would go for is mass manager. Even though it reduces the integrity of the module the optimal mass is increased so that way you can get a little bit further than you would have without it and it shows you exactly how much of what particular materials that you need and luckily for this you only need to apply it once per module so you'll need five atypical distributed wake echoes three galvanized alloys or galvanizing alloys and one eccentric hyperspace trajectories now say for example you would like to add this particular blueprint to your list all you need to do is either click on this star here or you can click on add blueprint to crafting lists now when you do that this pop-up comes up so you can put in a custom name if you like if you are perhaps having a few of these added to your list but you want to name them after the particular ship that you're going to put them in and you can see here that with the rolls per grade that shows you how many times you need to actually apply those particular materials to that grade in order to unlock grade 2, grade 3, 4 and 5. You can also include whether or not you have an experimental effect so mass manager is the most popular one and then you can also put in the repetitions of the amount of times that you would like to have this blueprint created. So, for example, we'll just have one and we'll add. And then what you can do is that if you go over to my crafting list, it comes up with the list here. And it tells you what is missing for you to create that particular fully engineered FSD for increased range with the experimental effect of mass manager. Now if you wanted to see exactly what is needed for this particular blueprint, you go back and then go to view my missing components. You can see here that it has more of a detailed look of what you have and what you don't have. So you can see here for raw I can see that I have eight missing arsenic. Now you can see here that it's got what you can trade for for the raw material that you need for arsenic. So you need to go to a raw material trader and you can see exactly what you can trade for what. And this is where the finding the nearest material trader really helps. You've got material trader selected here. And now you can go through the drop down boxes and things that you want to tick into just so you can figure out exactly where is the closest you need to be to find a material trader. So generally speaking you don't really need to mess about with this too much. Obviously depending on what size ship you are you might need to change the landing pad size etc. But in general it'll just have the list down here for encoded, manufactured and raw material traders. So for example if I needed to get arsenic and trade I would need to go to the star system EME -E -E, and then go to the Porsche city. It gives you additional information uh, like the economy so for EME it is refinery and industrial the government type is corporate, the allegiance is independent, so it's not federation or imperial. It tells you how close the station is to the star, so only 474 light seconds. And from my current location, the jump is only 15.83 light years. So using that is super, super handy. 
Now having a look at blueprints, this kind of just shows you more of a basic overview of the blueprints that are available. So this is obviously still for engineering, but if you're not looking at a particular engineer in order to do it, just looking at just what you can engineer for and things like that, then you can go here. It has the list for the hard points, utility mounts, optional internal, for internal, the armor, as well as personal equipment for those of you that use Odyssey. And say for example, you are getting into taking down some Thargoids, you want to get a long range beam laser. So it comes to this page. Now in the blueprints, when you go to personal equipment, there's two lots of engineering you need to do with your suits and your weapons. So with the upgrades, that is so you can upgrade and open an engineering slot for that particular item. And then you need to engineer for the particular mods that you want. I highly recommend going through the engineers and the blueprint sections of Inara. If you do have any questions, do let me know in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed the video, make sure that you like, comment and subscribe. Anyway, here is a playlist of ship builds that I think that you might find handy. Anyway, I'll see you over there, Commander. Fly safe.